13 times Tom Coelho steered Frankel into the winner's enclosure. But there's just something about today, Tom, that, that seems extra special. And do you feel that a, a, as much as we do, as keenly as we do? I suppose it is. And I suppose steer is the word, isn't it? You know, he's, uh, he's, you know, he's, he's, he's got so much class and, you know, you can... It's, it's unbelievable. But it was special today. Everybody got behind him and the Yorkshire crowd really, really appreciated him, him being here. And, you know, and it, was, it was great. It was great we got that result. And, and did you feel that, uh, given the other participants in the race, it was quite a, a well-contested race with, with a few runners, that it sort of made it richer in a way? Well, if anything, uh, sort of going at quicker pace even helped because there was no, there was no funny business. It was just end-to-end. -end. We were racing and, and the best horse won comprehensively. So uh, in, in that in that respect, it was it was sort of more straightforward. But he settled very well. He sort of sort of bunny hopped out a little and, and you know just got him. He, but he was relaxed all the way. He was he was really in the rhythm, and that, that was that's important, especially like with the step up and trip. You know, two and a half furlongs is two and a half furlongs, and, and you know none of us had any worry about that. But still, you you, you can't get complacent, and you, and you have to to bear every eventuality in mind. Were there any difficult decisions you had to make? at any point during the race? Not really, no. Just trying to get him pulled up and <laughs> keep him relaxed on the post. Same old story. The reaction today just seems to have topped everything. There's a real buzz and, and resonance uh, about this victory, um, in part obviously because it's his first time beyond a mile, but in part clearly because Sir Henry's here and it's fantastic to have him here and I'm sure you share that sentiment. And it's, it's Prince Khaled Abdullah's race, so it's, I'm sure he, he got a huge buzz out of it and, and that's important as well. And, you know, people forget that they're horses and you know everybody seemed to put their case forward of where the horse should run and what he should do but hats off to Sir Henry and the team and everybody you know it's, it's, it's not easy to get a horse to the races and, and to run well every time let alone go and win it at the highest level and, and to win like the way he's winning. You'd be very interesting to listen to about the horse's preparation from right from when he was a, a very young horse and I asked Teddy Grimthorpe after his win at Goodwood in anybody else's hands do you think he'd have been the horse he was and he said I don't think he, he would have been and do you share that sentiment? Uh, yeah. I don't know about that. I, I think um, I rode him from day one, obviously, and he never had a smack as a two-year-old, and maybe these sort of things help. But um, no, he's he's a class apart, and I think anybody in the weigh room would have won on him. Um, could he have achieved what he's achieved if he hadn't been in Warren Place? That's a good question. All right, yeah. You know, everybody, it's Sir Henry and, and all the team, and it's, it's like one big family up there, and they all pull together with every horse, not just him, but especially a horse like this you know it's it's all it's all come together everybody close to him and I suppose people from day one as well you know people have brought him into the world and you know it's you know people are very fast to just look at the race card and say he's got to win you know there's, there's a lot of preparation a lot of there's years gone into into this so you know, it's only two years ago he won at Newmarket you know first first time it's pretty extraordinary I, you're a pretty cool-headed guy but as you walk into the paddock ahead of a big big race big pressure like this how important is it that the people you're coming to ride for give off that that relaxed or apparently relaxed vibe you know this he's he's around he's he's, he's trained by excellent people he's, he's managed by excellent people and there's no more they can do once i get the leg up you know and some of the crowd are saying go on tom but i can't get off and run instead of him you know you know he's got to deliver the goods on the day and you know and thankfully he's always doing that but you never know that he's he's the best by a mile you know but at the end of the day he's He's an animal and he's, he's only an equine. He's a horse at the end of the day. So. We're struggling to put it into words and we're struggling to believe it, but you've articulated it very well. Tom, thanks very much indeed. Well done again. Thank you, Nick. Thanks. Thanks a lot.